Hey everybody, it's Lena and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And in the last episode, uh, we killed, uh, turtles, I guess they're called, snap, snappers, I think they're called, and a chest appeared, so let's see what's inside of it. And I like how Link jumps inside it. And you found the dungeon map, uh... Yeah, like I said in the last episode, this isn't very, um, useful in this game. But anyways, yeah. And, oh man, it's been a long time since I actually recorded this. I think, like, two weeks? Three, maybe? Yeah, and, yeah. I kind of feel like an idiot, actually, for starting this episode, like, in mid- I mean, starting this dungeon in mid-episode, in the last episode. But, whatever. Alright. And, okay, so, we have a small key and a map, so with the small key, we're not, we're gonna kill this, take a stick, and we're gonna go inside here. Now, uh, first thing inside here is you're gonna wanna, uh, hop over here, and, um, if you may notice, I can get a good position right here, alright, there we go. Now, there's a, yeah, a straight fairy right there, and if you're, now this will be a lot easier with uh, the item in this temple, but there is a, w it is possible to uh, get it as Deku Link, although a bit harder, and, alright, screw it, uh, I don't want to waste my magic, so. Yeah, we'll get that later on. Unless... Unless I drown. Yeah, that would help very much. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't want to waste all my magic right now. Because... Yeah. In <laughs> Zelda games... Come on. Okay. In Zelda games, I kind of have like a phobia for... Uh, for not having magic so yeah I'm just weird like that but anyways alright what we have to do here is jump all the way over here and this looks pretty light well don't just stand there press A and grab it and use control stick to move alright so yeah let's do that and yeah it's very light okay so what's with this really is it just opens this pass over there though I don't really find of course like I just showed you right there you can just hop as a uh, the cool link and right here is a sculptula. I think this one has a straight fairy. Stop hitting me. Okay, that's it. It's one thing I I've noticed in this game. Uh, the sculptulas have uh they're more prone to do the, the spin attack and yeah they have a straight fairy. All right, so we have one wish or we have one straight fairy. Now, I really want to get that straight fairy down there, but I don't know how. So, alright, now once we did that, uh, what we have to do is move this over here. And I'll just show you right now. And, uh, careful falling off as Link, because he gets, yeah, like, he gets hurt with the water. So, um, if you're just like stuck down there you're basically screwed cause you can't really swim now uh, what's with this is when you get a deco stick yeah like that it burns and after a certain time the deco stick burns out and so you can only have it in a uh, certain amount of time so uh, one easy trick to do this is as soon as you're done uh, press A and uh, you can save your stick so with that what we have to do here is bring the uh, light up the Deku, and I'm dead. Yeah, you're gonna watch me die, unless I can swim. If you press B, I think you swim faster, so okay, there we go. I didn't die. And I almost jumped off the edge like an idiot. Uh, let's get out, Deku. And, alright, I 
I kind of want to see if the audio of this is, uh, bad. Well, not bad, but kind of not as good as the others. Because when I first started up on the computer, the uh, headset was acting weird, making all these staticky noises. So I restarted the computer, and it stopped making it. So I'm not sure if it's still there, or I don't know. Anyways, uh, we hit this, and that door opens. And let's uh, save this. What's over there? Uh, what? Uh, let's see what's over here. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is all right. And now, like in the other episode where we had to kill the the turtles. Snappers. And if so, what we have to do is kill the dragonflies. Come on. And there we go. For some reason my controller's rumbling. Anyways. Anyways. Yeah, and with this. You get the compass. Now this shows, uh, like, see that red dot on the map at the right, uh, bottom right of the screen? That shows the last, uh, door that you went through or how you came inside the room. And, yeah, the yellow cursor is you. And it'll also show the boss, which is, like, a little skull. And those, uh, squares or uh, yellow squares is uh treasure chests so uh yeah if you missing on a straight fairies you can just look at the treasure chests some of them will have it anyways now that uh, we got that out of the way uh let's get let's slide up back our our steak anyways uh okay like that and i just yeah that's how the that's how the um, stick burns, like he just saw right there. I just lost. I had four to begin with. Now I just have three. Now let's try that again. This time without burning up a stick. Can I put it away? And I really like to care, take care of those uh, moths, but I can't. Man, so. And, yeah, all we have to do is burn this, uh, thing, and our stick just burned up. Alright. Okay. So, anyways, here, they'll give us, uh, sticks and nuts. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, now, let's go up this, uh, stairwell. And this will be the... S Second floor. Be careful, I sense a lot of evil here. Which is okay now this is uh, a kind of difficult room. Because the enemies are those black bows. Yeah, black bow. Uh so they're pretty hidden and this place is completely dark. See? Uh so what we have to do is climb up here and surprisingly not the I hate those things to scare me. Uh, is that all of them? Uh, alright. Alright, so... No, that's not all of them. Once you kill them all, uh, the uh, treasure chest will appear. So that's when you know when you got all of them. So... All you have to do is kind of like, uh, walk aimlessly around the room and you'll awaken some... from deep slumber. There's one. Or two. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. And, yeah, <laughs> a lot of people in this room have problem looking in the chest, since it's so dark. Uh, just follow your map, if you have a compass, I guess. Or you can use Tattle, uh, to light up the room a bit. And, okay, it's right here. And it's a straight fairy. 
So, uh, in order to get actually get out of here, what we have to do is get this. And there's gonna be three torches. And I missed all of them. Alright, let's do that again. This time, let's at least get one. Oh, this room's pretty confusing. Um, okay, there's one right there. Kind of walk around the edge of the room. That's what I. That's all I can say. And I don't feel comfortable leaving that out too long. So let's try again. C come on. Um, okay, there's one, two, three. All right. Let's go. There's one. Two, three. All right, there we go. And this way. I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> I don't like wasting things. So, all right, now it's getting through here, and it's gonna be another room like, like the beginning, uh, first room. And this time, you have moving platforms. But if you did the mini game. The Deku mini game. This should be easy. Hopefully, if the buggers don't kill you. Get inside. Yeah, as soon as you're inside the the flower, you're safe. Oh, okay. Now, now, don't kill me. Um, actually. Try that again. Maybe I can kill one of these. At least one, please. Yes, alright. One down. That'll make things a bit easier. And if this one can get over here. Get over here! Okay, well. Now, alright. I don't think that'll cause too much trouble. Go die. So, yeah, and now all we have to do is slide over here, and, alright, there it is. Alright, now I'll, I'll stop the video now, so, okay, thanks uh, for watching, please subscribe, and goodbye. See you in the next episode. Bye!